Hello, Leo. Welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. My name is Paul. If Leo is your sun, moon, or rising sign, this is your tarot card reading. Please hit the like button, leave a comment, consider subscribing to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. It is totally free. It does not cost you anything. If there's anything you would like me to pray over or meditate upon or send positive energy toward, please let me know. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger. And I ask you to connect directly with each of these cards and use your own intuition to take you beyond the details that I might provide. And remember, Leo, that the most important part of any tarot reading is you. And an Eight of Wands, there's, um, there's an urgency about things right now. There's almost an anxiety, almost there's this, there's this buildup of energy, and we're just kind of, we're ready to, to be let loose somewhere, right? Um, I wonder if you have maybe a, a series of things or, or a, a, um, a myriad of, of responsibilities or a lot of things on your list that you've got to get done, right? But it's almost like we're waiting for something else to happen first. Yeah, for some reason, there's this energy that can't really move yet. But you're, you're very eager to get started on something, but we're being held back by something. Let's see what's going on here. A four of swords. Uh, it's something interpersonal. It's something that has to do with um, hmm, another person in your life. Who is that person? We've got a ten of cups. We've got the sun. We've got the eon. We've got the nine of wands. We've got the art or temperance card. We've got the devil card. A three of swords. And a two of cups. Well, I think that there's a loved one, first of all. And I think that you've got some kind of a conflict with them. There's some kind of um, there's some kind of a disagreement or a miscommunication with them that's preventing you from doing what you need to do. It's almost like you're waiting for them to finish something so that you can do, do your part. Or because of their well, I was gonna say their stubbornness, but you're pretty stubborn too. Um mm -hmm. Because there is this disconnect, things are not moving forward, all right? And what I see around you is the Ten of Cups, the Star, the Eon, or the Sun, the Eon, the Nine of Wands. I almost feel as if um, somebody else has made a decision and you tried to convince them not to do it, right? You tried to tell them. It's like you, you voiced your opinion here, and they wouldn't listen, okay? And so I almost wonder if now you're just kind of waiting for them to see the consequences of their own actions so that you can kind of go about your life and do what you need to do. I don't know what the connection is as far as the activities go. If this is a business thing, if this is a family situation, but I feel like somebody else has done something and um, we're just kind of waiting for karma to kick in, you know. Uh, we're just waiting for, and maybe this is a romantic thing. It very well could be. Okay? You're waiting for somebody to see the consequences of their own actions. Not so you can say, I told you so, but maybe so that you can move on. Maybe so that there can finally be healing. We do see a two of cups at the end. Maybe we're, we're hoping someone will see the error of their ways. And uh, it could be in a business situation, could be a friendship, could be a romance, could be a family member. Okay. You've got a ten of cups underneath everything. This is within you. This, I think, is really the, um, it's kind of an overwhelming thing because it, there's part of you that, that wants to just kind of jump in and save this person from themselves, from their own mistakes, from their choices. And there's also this part of you that is, is suffering because you can't. Okay? It's kind of like somebody has to see this thing through on their own to then realize what is meaningful to them. Okay? 
So we're kind of, it, it feels like we're waiting for karma to kick in and um, teach the lesson that it needs to. Yeah. And it could very well be that this person is you. Uh, it could be, um, you know, part of this could be that um, there's a conflict within you about what is the right course of action. And rather than changing course you know, midstream, you're just saying, I'm just going to see it through and see, see what happens. Yeah. Um, we see a little bit of, of difficulty along the way, but we see very good cards here. Okay. So I feel like something is being resolved. I feel like something is going to kind of uh, finally be, um, be reconciled, that there is going to be a, a, a closure here. Yeah, that we're getting to the end. We're seeing kind of the end result of something. Okay, good. I saw the end result. Now I can move on. Now I can try maybe a different direction. Maybe that's what the Eight of Wands is. Maybe we're looking for that big breakthrough in our lives. Here's that Eon card. Maybe this is what we want. And we're trying to find the right direction. We're trying to find the right effort, the right thing to do to get to that big breakthrough, that Eon car. This is the, this is the doorway to the future. Okay. This is the baptism by fire. This is uh, waking up uh, in a new dimension on a new timeline, right? This is the leveling up that we're looking for. And it's almost like that's the doorway. And this is us kind of groping around looking for that door, looking to for where the handle is, right? Trying to find the doorknob. And it could be that um, there have been several attempts here. And we realize that we, we cannot stop midstream and change course. That we can't just suddenly say, no, that wasn't it. We've got to get all the way to the end of this to see if that was it. This could be a lot of different creative ideas for you. It could be a lot of different life paths, a lot of different career choices, a lot of different relationship choices. There still could be that, that romantic component. Looking for that right one. Looking for that perfect one that's going to take us to the future that we want. Up through that Eon card, right? But sometimes that Four of Swords is... Like, we're not, we're not really listening to ourselves, and so we just stop talking, you know? Uh, there's no, it's, it's kind of a card that says there's no point in arguing. And we might be following these different desires in ourselves, thinking, well, at one point, maybe we would have thought, that's not the right path. That's not the right thing to do, you know? But now we've just kind of said, well, eh, maybe it is. Maybe it's not, you know? We've, uh, we've stopped that internal conflict. And we're willing to see things through till the end, for better or worse, to see what that end is. Does that make sense? And I feel like this is a real, this is a, this is a bravery. This is a, a trust almost in ourselves. And it's, it's kind of like the mind now, the intellect, our ego perhaps, is just not bothering to protest. Yeah. When we, when we make a, an effort, when we resolve to see something through. And that's kind of the, the nine of, of wands too, seeing something through. The ability to say, I've committed to this, I'm going to see it through to the end, come what may. And if it's not, if this isn't the one, well, then, hey, at least I know that for sure. And I can kind of come back to the center here. And I can pick a new, a new option, right? I think maybe this is the one, though, right? And I keep looking at that two of cups at the end there. Let's select the mystery card, bonus card, confirmation card. This is a random card from the Smith Weight Tarot that we are just going to set down over here. We're going to put Robo Duck right there on top. That is the factor infinite and unknown. All right. And uh, it's going to tie everything together and give us our confirmation at the end of the reading. If at any point during the reading, you feel like you know what that card is, I want you to put your prediction down in the comments. All right, we can do it together. We can make it a group exercise of intuition. I think it'll be fun. 
Uh, anyway, let's look around the room. We've got major, 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 major. We've got fire. We've got water. We've got air. And we don't have any earth, right? We don't have any pentacles here. So I feel like this is something that we haven't we haven't got to the end result yet. We haven't got to the very end of this path to see what is physically tangibly there. It's like we're, <clears throat> it's like we've, um, we've picked a spot. We want to dig for treasure and we're just going to dig. We're going to dig and dig and dig and dig. You don't get halfway down on the earth and you say, man, it's probably not here. You're not going to know unless you follow through, get to the bottom of this, whatever pit, you know, uh, get to the end of this path finish the work and see what what is there you know this is like we uh we got hired onto a company and they said yeah you, st you stick around with us and you'll keep getting promoted 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 you know it's going to take a few years but you'll work your way to the top we do it for six months and we say nah this isn't going to work out you know this isn't gonna this isn't happening fast enough or this isn't paying uh you know paying me what i deserve or i haven't got a promotion yet well they said it would take a year, and here it is a couple months later, and you're like, why can't I get a raise, you know? Um, so I feel like you're, you have this, this attitude now where you're committed to something. Could be a person, could be a job, could be a creative, spiritual outlet, or endeavor, or something. And I think this is the one. I think this is karma. I think you're finally, finally getting what you deserve here. I think you had a realization, you had an epiphany, yeah. You had a light bulb moment, and this might be the light bulb that really says, hey, I've always kind of halfway done things, and that's why I've never got what I, what I thought I, I deserved, and that's, how, that's why I never, I never got the, the results that were promised to me or the, the rewards that should have been there, because you stopped halfway. And so now maybe this is that, that vision, that realization of what that long-term effort, what that sustained effort will bring you. Yeah. So I think now is the time to really, really double your efforts in whatever path you're on. Now's not the time to change course. Okay. And there may be, like I said at the beginning with this eight of wands, there may be a feeling like we want to do something, we want to get started somewhere else, right? That we have something to do, we have something we want, but for some reason we feel stuck where we're at. I think we're stuck where we're at because we've committed to it. And this is that this is now a time where you're not going to break that commitment. No matter how much there's that part of your mind that just kind of says, I don't want to do this anymore. This was the this was the wrong move. This is too hard. It's too difficult. It's taking too long. There's all sorts of reasons to quit. But you only need one reason to keep going. And that's the reason of that's the the result the reward of the two of cups that love that union that feeling that you get from uniting with your goal whether it's a person a place a thing it doesn't matter when you reach that finish line when you unite with that thing when you're digging and digging and digging and you want to quit the last time you you hit that treasure chest that's the feeling knowing that you finally did it and you're going to get to rest and you're going to get to take a shower, put the shovel down, all that good stuff, right? But you're not going to have that feeling. You're not going to get that two of cups if we quit halfway or three quarters, whatever. So I think that was, that was this realization that you had recently. It's like a light bulb went off where we just said, hey, you know what? Maybe I've only been kind of like half-assing things for a while. Maybe I need to really put all of my effort into and see it through to the end see what happens you know and i think this is that karma this is now this is going to be the results of that effort all right i'm i'm interested in this three of swords over here this is in the the position of what we don't want what we don't want is a repeat of that failed attempt what we don't want is the heartbreak of having not achieved our union, of not finding the one again, right? Maybe this is, maybe we are talking about relationships, you know? Maybe you kind of go from like one serious relationship to the other 
but you kind of quit before it really gets meaningful, before it really gets deep. There might be something else going on there. The Three of Swords is very often talking about past things, memories, a history that we have that's affecting us now in the present. But in a very simple way, we just don't want to experience that separation, that heartbreak, that lack of union, right? The pain of division. We want the joy of union. We're not going to experience the joy of union if we, I don't know, if we get scared halfway or we get bored or we just get restless, you know. Then we'll always, we'll always not have it. We'll always be in that pain of division rather than that joy of union. Yeah, you know what I mean? And I think this is really, this is a breakthrough for you. This was, this was a, this is a really big, big step for you. And I think that you are really leveling up your life. Now we could be talking romance. We could be talking business. We could be talking creativity. Maybe you, maybe you begin a project, but then you get bored, you quit. Maybe you've been working on an album. You've been working on a painting or something, and it's just, meh, I'm bored. Or I'm just not feeling it anymore. Um, it's in that, that in-between stage between, like, the enthusiasm of the beginning and then the joy of the completion, right? We're in that middle stage where it's just, like, tedious and grueling, and we've been at it for a long time, and now's the point where our body, our mind just says, just give up, just quit. You know, being tempted to quit. But the nine, of, the nine of Wands in the future position, I think this is what's going on right now. I think you're getting this resolve, this willpower, and you realize that the joy, uh, the joy of the beginning, that enthusiasm when we just start out on something, that's nothing compared to the joy of union when you get to the end of it, when you accomplish your will, when you reach your goal, when you get that Two of Cups. So this is the strength to push ourselves through those boring, tedious, grueling periods in between the beginning and the end, right? Everybody loves the beginning, everybody loves the end. It's the work in the middle that's so difficult. And this is that car that says we're going to be strong through that middle portion. Yeah. And then you're going to get what you deserve, right? This is, this is karma. This is the intention uh, behind our actions and then the consequences of that intention we're going to receive that, and that's going to be that Two of Cups. It's really, really good energy. I like it very much. Uh, at first, it was rather, it was rather confused and, and a little bit, um, a little bit hazy, trying to get a clear picture of what's going on. And I think really that's part of the, that's part of the Eight of Wands energy. It feels like static. It feels like a lot of electricity, kind of all going, uh, all happening at the same time. Okay, but now we've got this singular. Now one, now all of these different things. Well, this is the energy that says, it would be nicer over there. I'd like it more that way. That seems like a better path. How about over there would be more fun? All of that, it's too much. It's chaotic. It's hectic. That's not any way to get this level up in our life. That, this is no way to get through this portal, this doorway of fire. What we need then is this. We've got to move that over. Now it's a straight shot. Now it's this one will going straight up. Okay. And the Ten of, of Cups, I think, is that deep, that deep longing in your life. I think it is, um, it is this, it is, it is your aspiration, really. This is the, um, the overflowing of feelings that we have. This is where it just gets so emotional. And I think it's so emotional really in this way of uh, not having that thing yet, that we just, we, we love it so much, we want it so much, whether it's financial success, spiritual progress, whether it's a relationship, a family, creativity, whatever it is, okay? We want it so much that the feelings are overwhelming, okay? The only way to satisfy this is to get it is to get that thing, to reach that goal, to, to make this accomplishment, okay? And so this is, in some ways, the motivation, the aspiration to go up this straight and narrow path and get to that breakthrough, get through that doorway, okay? Get through that doorway. And 
This process is an alchemical process. We've got the art card over here. And the, the art card here, the temperance card, I think is reminding us not to look at things as either successes or failures, right? And it's, it's, so we look at things as either like, um, either I have it or I don't have it. Either I'm, I'm without something or I'm, I'm achieving it. Either I've failed or I've succeeded. What the temperance card is asking us to do is think about that middle portion. And that, of course, is, that's the part we don't like. That's the part we don't want to think about. And that's why we put a four of swords on it, right? To try not to think about it. Uh, but we need to think about it. We need to understand that this is the part that really matters. This is the journey. The beginning and the end of the journey, I mean, they matter, but not like, the, not like the trip itself, you know? And this is the same as, I don't know, when you're a kid or something and you know you're, this is kind of when you're at home, this is when you get to the amusement park. Um, we're so excited for the amusement park, but what about the car ride over? You know, this is where you get to sing songs with your family. Now, not my family, we never did that. Um, but this is where, you know, it's a road trip, right? It's a road trip, it's fun. We get to bring, I, I gotta find some toys to bring with me. Uh, we got snacks, we gotta figure out where we're gonna stop, what we're gonna see along the way. I gotta bring my camera, uh, I gotta bring things to do, I gotta bring my hat, my sunglasses. I gotta get the dog, you know. The road trip is, is the, that's the excitement, you know. And we've got our origin, we've got our destination. Sure, those are important too. But so's the road trip in between. Yeah. And I think that there's a, there's a reason why we don't like it. I think we get bored along the way, we get discouraged, it becomes too difficult, it's just too much of a chore, too much of a hassle. The, the Three of Swords is asking you, why don't you like that middle portion so much? Why is it that we avoid that? Why is it that we start things get kind of tough in that way and meh, do something else? Because you certainly are capable of doing it. You've got this devil card here. This is in the position of the environment. If you set your mind to something and you, you push through, you can accomplish anything you want. You've got to have this nine of swords behind that devil, but for some reason we're not activating this energy. You are now. And I guess that's really what matters, right? But in order to make this the one, that gives you your gives you your rewards. I think we kind of have to we have to go through this dark night. This is going to be again. You feel I don't like this middle portion. I want to turn around and go home. Sorry, Bob Ross knocked him over. To get to the Two of Cups, you're going to have to go through this difficult period, and this is going to be that time where you've got to ask yourself, why is it so hard for me to keep going past a certain point? Okay, why do I always get bored right around the same time? Why do I lose interest right around the same time? Spirit's asking you to look into yourself, and it's not going to feel nice. That Two of Cups will feel nice. But to get there, we've got to go through ourselves. Okay? Let's look at the mystery card now. Uh, did we have any prediction for this card? I want to see... Uh, hmm. Well, the talk of karma, maybe we'll get the justice card. Right, that Libra energy, that's kind of the karma card. It could be the Wheel of Fortune or a Six of Cups. Those are my three guesses. If you have a prediction, put it down in the comments. Here we go. Yes, indeed. Yeah, the Justice card. Um, this is, uh, you know, you're, you, you're going to get out of it what you put into it. Right? Uh, all of your actions have consequences. All of your inactions have consequences. It seems this is really, this is about that kind of karma. This is, the, this is fair. You push yourself, but to a certain point, and then you quit or give up or turn aside or focus on something else. Well, that, what do you think is the logical consequence of that? What do you think the karma of that is? Well, it's going to be not getting that Two of Cups, not uniting with your goal, not reaching that level of satisfaction that's going to give you your absolute best, perfect, happy life. Then what would happen if you pushed through that, that time? You know, if you made it through that middle portion? You know, we know what our end result is. We know what, what the goal is that we want. We have to think kind of logically or 
karmically backwards to say, what do I need to do now? What kind of, what seeds of karma do I need to plant right now to get me that, that goal? To get to where I want to be with this kind of fulfillment, satisfaction, creative, romantic, business, whatever it is. Right? This is that justice card. And maybe there's a time in our life where we say, it's just not fair. It may not seem fair to our ego, but if we, if we really feel it, if we really understand it, everything that happens to us is a result of actions. Other people's actions, our own actions, sure. We can't control other people. We can control our actions, our decisions. And we have to understand what our decisions are going to lead to in this kind of causal chain of events. Not, not considering interference coming from any other person, okay? We're just talking about what we can do and what we can control and what are the results of our actions, okay? That's what we're talking about. Now, we're going to do an extended reading. If you want to stick around, you can click on the link that's up here. There's a link down below. New readings for Leo every Tuesday and Saturday, 6 a.m. Chicago time. I am here every day. Come back, see me again tomorrow. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It is totally free. does not cost you anything. Leave a comment for me. Let me know where in the world you're watching from. I want you to know, Leo, that you are the most important part of Dove and Serpent Tarot. I thank you, and I love you. And we're all in this together.